Level 48. Help Tom to get her notice. I don't even know what that means. Why does little block-headed Tom want to get the notice of a woman who's got legs longer than he is tall? Apparently, I can give him a mansion, a bag of money, a diamond, or a convertible, and I'm willing to bet that none of this is going to be the correct answer, because you know what? You can't buy your way out of being a square-headed goblin child. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Brain Out, a game that's already stumped me with questions like, count the ants. Add numbers to make 12. How many coins are three coins? You know, just the simplest things that should be super easy and end up not being even kind of simple or easy. And then I feel like an idiot and you guys have a good laugh, so I feel like that's a fair enough trade-off to continue. We're gonna move on to level 39 with Whack-A-Mole. This was the level that I ended off last episode on, not because I ran out of time, but because I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me. We have what you can loosely consider to be a mole and a mallet, and usually with whack-a-mole, you would whack the mole with the mallet. And we can do that, but it doesn't accomplish anything. You can do this all day and nothing will change. You can also just tap, right? You don't need the mallet, it'll make things a little bit faster, but again, it's not accomplishing anything, so... Oh! Oh! I am really happy that I stumbled across that because I was about to say this might be the first time that we have to use a hint. I know I've technically used a hint before, but it didn't count, okay? I've used no keys, I'm on a flawless brain out run, and you guys can't prove otherwise. Now I do have a mild handicap, okay? I'll admit there are some levels that I can't complete, but it's not because I'm an idiot, it's because I can't turn my phone upside down, inside out, and throw it against a wall because I'm playing on an emulator. So we had to skip level 40, but we're moving on to level 41 with can you solve this question? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. That's not good math, right? That's just the same thing over and over again. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 7, but I'm guaranteeing that's not the answer, of course not. It's not adding them all together, right? Like, the answer wouldn't be 21 because there isn't a plus at the end of each of these. Are they trying to multiply them? Like, normally, you would have brackets, and then you would have your order of operations, and so on and so forth, but then it would be 7 times 7 times 7, so that would be 7 times 7 is 49, times 7 would be 343? I think? Even if I'm right, that's not the correct answer, so... <gasps> what are you asking of me? Can you solve this question? Oh! Oh, maybe it's just entered weird, so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 11 plus 2 plus 3 plus 11 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, so that would be 1, 3, 6, 17... 19, 22, 33, 39? Oh my god. I like the math ones, okay? I can do math. I, I, I can't figure out that there's a, a diamond in a dog's butthole without going down some really weird mental gymnastics. Level 42, find out the object. I would assume they're trying to say, find these objects in the picture, right? Like, we've got a blade of grass toothbrush, and a flower starfish, and a leaf heart, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, there's gotta be a twist, right? There's no way it's gonna be this easy. I'm not even 100% sure what most of these objects are. What is this thing supposed to be? <laughs> is this a slice of pizza on her chest or is she happy to see me? We've got a, a weird little crescent moon over here and what I can only assume is some kind of spatula or a, a toothbrush in a cup. Uh, he's got uh, a sleeve envelope and uh, a green toy. 
And then that little thing. What's the same color as that? Her pants? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Well, I'm deafened by being correct, but I'm also incredibly confused. There, there should have been a trick in there somewhere. Level 43. Oh, God. Zozo overslept. Wake her up. Hit her in the head with a mallet like she's some kind of mole creature. No, not so fortunate. How about a fly crawling up her nose? Then again, that doesn't wake people up, right? I'm pretty sure we eat a lot of bugs when we're asleep, apparently. I don't know about you guys. I don't think I eat that many bugs when I'm asleep. <laughs> Can you lick her face? No? Is it as easy as just changing the time? Do I have to, like, drag the, the hands? Here, you want this? No? Okay, can I get her mom to come in here and wake her up or something? I I have to be missing something, okay? Wake up, child! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hammering on your clock and then hoping that somebody comes in here. Oh! Why did that work? I was just getting frustrated and making jokes. I didn't think she would... Wait, what? <laughs> Sometimes you stumble into the answers and you dumbfound yourself. Level 44 is going to hit me with that quick math again. If 1 equals 5, and 2 equals 15, and 3 equals 215, and 4 equals 3215, then 5 equals 1. Right? If 1 equals 5, then 5 equals 1. Okay, I never thought I would say this, but I really like math questions. They make me feel big brain. Level 45, which cup will get filled first? Okay, this is actually an interesting little question. So one and two and the unlabeled one at the top, they can't get filled first because they're draining into other cups. And the right half can't fill before the left half because the left half is lower. So the question is, which would fill first, three or four? And the answer would be four. What? It has to be four. The answer's four! <laughs> Is it three? Okay, then maybe... It, it couldn't have been set. What? None of the cubs fill first! <laughs> okay, what do I need to screw with here? There's... There's clearly gonna be something that I need to do. Okay, let me guess, it's... No, it's not you, is it? Now it's four. I swear to God, mental gymnastics are a thing of the past, okay? This game competes in mental karate. It uses your smarts and critical thinking against you to make you feel like a dunce. Level 46, move one matchstick to make a biggest number. I'm really happy that they're sticking to math questions and not English questions. Math is definitely well, both of our strong suits, technically. So we have 369, and I'm allowed to move one matchstick. I don't suppose I could... Oh, I can't move any of the matchsticks. I just need to punch in the number. Okay, I was gonna say, maybe I could take the bottom of that 9, turn it 90 degrees, and then put it at the beginning? It would still technically form a nine, right? It just wouldn't have the tail underneath it. And then we would have 1369? That might be cheating. That might be a little overzealous and against the spirit of the question. Okay, fine. So we want to manipulate the first number, the three, because that's going to have the biggest impact. And I'm thinking the only thing we can take is the top right stick from the nine and turn that into a five. Then we could turn the 3 into a 9, so it'd be 965? Yeah. Like that. Okay. Just keep giving me those questions, and I can bore people with the fact that I'm getting them right and not frustrated. <laughs> Man, this is such a conflicting video to make because I want to feel smart, but I need to feel stupid to be entertaining. Level 47. Find something you cannot eat. So we've got a chicken laying eggs, a chocolate soft serve ice cream cone, McDonald's french fries, and a watermelon slice. McDonald's french fries are pretty friggin' close to being inedible. It depends on your definition of inedible. Like if bacteria can't break it down, then should you be eating it? 
<laughs> I mean, technically, I can eat rocks, but I, I shouldn't. Um, I supposed to not eat your nest? Yeah. It was a toss-up between the nest or the top of the ice cream cone secretly being poop. Level 48. Help Tom to get her notice. I don't even know what that means. Why does little block-headed Tom want to get the notice of a woman who's got legs longer than he is tall? Apparently, I can give him a mansion, a bag of money, a diamond, or a convertible. And I'm willing to bet that none of this is going to be the correct answer. Because you know what? You can't buy your way out of being a square-headed goblin child. <laughs> can I take your purse? Oh. Okay. That was... Obvious and yet not obvious. I honestly feel like this game is tweaking with my brain and not in a good way. Level 49, find the aliens. And let me guess, they're not gonna be in their spaceship and I can't like shake them out or anything like that. No, they'd be on their home world. No, of course not. And it wouldn't have anything to do with the sun. Can I burn them out of their home world Superman style? No. What's with the rocks? Yeah, I, I didn't actually expect them to be underneath a rock. I... Hold on. No, 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 that's, that's different, right? It, it kind of looks like little alien feet, except it's cropped. It's like the image has been cropped. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but there's an alien like right here somewhere. Uh. Can I grow the plants and the alien? No? You wanna like come pick him up? Ah, there we go. <laughs> so maybe that was intentional? It probably had to be intentional or else nobody would have ever figured that out. Once again, 50 was super obvious, but required me to turn my device 90 degrees, which I can't do. So we're just gonna skip out, we're moving on 51 with how many French fries below and what do you mean by french fries? Because there are 10 fries in every pack. And I really doubt I need to click all the way up to 60. You're gonna make me do it, are you? Okay, fine, fine. We'll go up to 60 just to prove that that's incorrect. <laughs> because you know it's gonna be incorrect every friggin' time. It wouldn't be six, would it? Do you mean like how many orders of french fries? You can never be too certain, okay? The English is a little hit or miss here. <laughs> so, let me guess. Like, if I... I was gonna say if I pull on them, then maybe there's gonna be more fries below, but nope. They're just uh, doubling up on their orders. So how many do we have now? Two, four, six, eight, ten is the answer. Ten. I'm starting to get your tricks down pat game. You're gonna have to start coming up with something else. Level 52, find the panda. So, it's like, where's Waldo? Except Waldo is an endangered bear and he went to an elephant EDM concert? <laughs> like, uh, is he tripping balls? Do I need to rescue him? Oh, there he is. Okay, I, I, I came to give you a bottle of water and to let you know not to mosh with the elephants. They're real rough. Go do something productive with your life. Go have babies or something. Level 53, damn, I can't stand this mess. What mess exactly? We've got paint here, but I can't move it. And I can't click on it. Okay, so am I supposed to get water from the well to clean? What mess? Like, there's a, a little tiny bit of paint there, but you clearly don't want me to, hold on. A little bit. Oh. Okay. I need to scrub it off. I need to clean up the mess. That I can do. Level 54. Click the orange rectangle three times, then the green rectangle five times. Okay. What's the catch? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, 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 four. 
five. Okay. So not exactly a tricky question, just a we want to catch you with some bullshit question. Level 55, how to make your dream come true. So I'm guessing I just need to rub the lamp. Okay, so we get ourselves our own little personal Funko Poop Genie. We can travel around the world. There's a cabin by the lake or master several languages. I kind of want to master several languages. English escapes me sometimes, but I can speak French. Wouldn't mind adding five more to that. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you, Genie. I don't think I can speak any more language. Oh, we get three wishes, of course. So I'll take everything. You know, just, just package it up. Excuse me? <laughs> Genie, uh... Maybe he's on a smoke break? No? Okay, Genie, come back out here. What, what's the deal? What's with the book that changes color? What? Knowledge is power? Really? Don't hit me with that reading rainbow crap, okay? I, I love LeVar Burton as much as the next person. Genie, make me smart. Level 56. Which shape has the most sides? This has to be some kind of trick question, right? This top left blue one has eight sides, and then the red one below it has ten sides, so the answer is technically you, but of course it isn't. Can I move any of them? I can't even move them. It can't be a circle. Does a circle have zero or infinite sides? It's a question, of course. Even though... What? I'm pretty sure my brain just lagged out thinking about pi and circumferences and radius and... <laughs> it doesn't matter, okay? I got the right answer. We're moving on. Level 57. Fill in the question mark. Okay. So... We've got... 2, 3, 4, 15, 12 going across the top. And then two, three, four, five, six going down the side. Okay, interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have an order when descending. 15, 28, 45, 66, something. So the difference between 15 and 28 would be 13. The difference between 28 and 45 would be 17. The difference between 45 and 66 would be 21, 21, 17, and 13 each have a difference of 4, so then it should be 66 plus 25, which is 91? Is the answer 91? Yes! Okay, just give me one of these, like, every six or seven questions, just so, like, a, a couple times during the video I can remind people that I can feed myself and don't wear diapers and I'll be perfectly happy. Once again, level 58 needed me to turn my phone, so we're gonna finish things off with level 59, Wake Up the Little Piggy. I'm gonna shove a butterfly up your nose. No? I thought maybe it would tickle his nose, but... Fine, what if I, uh, pull on your tail? I'm not getting a no, but it's not doing anything. Can I tickle your feet? Can I eat your ass? Don't take that out of context, okay? It's bacon. You, you just keep your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> How do I wake you up, Piggy? Can I open your eyes? Can I... Oh! Oh, okay, I'll just... I'll just smother him. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put my hand over his nose and he'll wake up suffocating. <laughs> Who's ready to get turned into food? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brain Out, guys. And I gotta say, I'm still really enjoying this game. I'm happy that people are on board with the series because I constantly just want to play more. Every time I sit down and record, I want to play this game. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and then maybe I'll return to help set up a blind date. Why does that dog have a shaved gooch? But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.